wants this place to look nice. Everybody has a chore, so get your chores done. He's always watching. He sees everything. He, he's always telling us to stand up straight, you know, don't slouch, look professional. I feel like I'm privileged to, to learn from someone that good. And uh, he started just when he was young as me, so hopefully I'll end up just like him. Ray, I mean, he's, he's old school. He's done it for 50 plus years. I believe Ray knows everything. <laughs> Let's say you're walking in into the shop. I, I'm not looking at your shoes, and I'm not looking at your clothes. I'm looking at your hair. Picture the haircut and that. I tell them, we're not selling clothes. We're not selling shoes. You know, we're selling haircuts. My name is Ray Compass, and I'm the owner of Hollywood Barber College. Remember, the light spot is your guide, OK? I'll be 81 next month. Start a little lower than then, OK? I've been the teacher, you know, for quite a while. I don't know, something like 22 years now, I guess. Put this comb in, in this corner here. Oh, I've learned everything from Ray. Very good, very good. Just watching his techniques. My name is Kara Denius, and I am an instructor here at Hollywood Barber College. Just the straight razor, you need to make sure that the, you're not pushing no, too no, hard no. down. Just, no. As a student, I loved it. That's why I, I came back. I consider him family. He's, he's an extraordinary barber. I've learned so much. I learned still so much. You're more susceptible to chopping it off, so nice and easy. Anytime you watch, you can pick up something new and different that he might do that maybe he might not say. So you just kind of watch the detail. I, I think that's exciting. At your eyes, show you the, the darkness, the shadows, you know, the shadows, you know, make a good haircut. My folks want me to go to college. They couldn't afford it, you know. So I seen the ad in the paper, Tucson Barber College. My group was the second group of graduating from there, so. That's how I got into barbering. I work at night and came to school in the daytime. Way back, you know, 53, 1953, you know, I started. I was at a shop called Maestros. Good and the Italian guy, he got me, he offered me a job while I was in barber college, see? He, he taught me a lot of just how to, Take care of customers, you know. Yeah, that's where you put next this part. Yeah, but you're gonna grab it this way. It's not just somebody you're gonna take it six, seven dollars away from him, you know. You gotta treat him special. Nice. Thank you, Ray. They come in and they tell me I got a birthday, well, it don't cost you nothing. Happy birthday, you know. Thank you, you're doing good. When it comes to barbering, there's always someone watching. Whether it be the guy cutting next to you, the guy being cut next to you, you never know who's gonna walk in through that door and you should always treat everybody the same. La niña. Muy bien, gracias. I grew up at the Barrio Hollywood and uh, we opened a shop there. At that time I was married and my wife said, what are we gonna name it? If you're at the Barrio Hollywood, I said, so we'll name it Hollywood. And that's how the name stuck. It's a, at that time, it's, everybody got to shave on their way to work. So it was always the first, same customers every morning. There was more to being a barber. There was more in the industry. There was always something new that would come up, and uh, I wanted to learn it. See, and I kept learning as much as I could to where I just about could do anything with hair. So when you're going to do that, you got to really take it up. This year I'm getting an award for the state championship, Arizona. Here's another one, state championship from Phoenix, Arizona. California championship. The California Southern Division state championship, and we won all six trophies. It got to be a habit. Wherever there was a show competition, I wanted to go. This is me 
This is Ralph. Ralph passed away. Angel worked here in town. Max uh, worked too. I won something like 60, 66 awards. Second in the United States, lost by two points for being a United States champion. All done with the razor, no shears, no clippers, just razor cut. It's an art. You know, it's like an artist doing a, a nice painting. It's just a great experience. That's one of the reasons I came here, because of how, what Hollywood's known for, what Ray's known for. He said that even when he was um, barbering for for decades, he would still take these master courses and always learning. I hope to be cutting as long as Ray. <laughs> um, you know, the more you cut, the more experience, the better you get throughout the years, you know. My mom and my aunts, they all are barbers. They all came here eight years or more ago. Everyone has their own style, and you get to make people look good and be happy with how they look. There we all right. are. That's I'm trying to teach them to be respectful. Take you over to the front? Yep. Customers like to be taken care of by professionals. And I've had students that I've had to say, I can't teach you. You're, you're set on your ways, and that's the way it is. You know, nobody here can help you. I want them to be the best, you know, at what they do. Happy, have a nice family. I, I said to myself one day, I like to rent a big place, have a big reunion, you know. I don't think I, there's a big enough place to have a reunion. Sometimes I'll stop by at their shop, say hi. makes me feel good that they are successful. I love them all. I say they're all my kids.